Dave. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dave Weiner. I'm your host tonight. I am going to be presenting you our Retire with Dignity um, client night. I've always had a blast with these so far, and we're going to have a good. We are going to have a great time on this last day of February. <clears throat> So we'll try to keep my voice going, and uh, we're going to get started, and we're going to get, we're going to get, we're going to, we're going to take this right to the finish line here tonight. So everybody have a great time. Now, what would what would a successful retirement look like? You know, for the majority of the mass, is almost nine out of ten people alive in their 60s, they're going to physically be what you and I refer to as dependent on someone else, dependent on socialism, Social Security, uh, Medicare. I mean. That is, when they get to retirement time, they're going to be dependent. Or you're independent and you're in control of your lifestyle. Tonight, who wants to retire with financial dignity? So there's some questions you need to really think about. Are you saving any money? If I have saved and I have a nest egg, how long did it take you to accumulate it? And how much of that money are you willing to lose. Are you tired of watching your 401k go up and down in volatile times? This is, a, this is the great question of all time. Will you have enough money at retirement? What do you want your retirement to look like? Do you want to be dependent or independent? Here's some scary stats. <clears throat> the aging of America. Folks, you know, when I grew up as a young kid and my dad was a teamster and, you know, we, we grew up in Michigan, he was part of the infamous local 299, pensions were the norm across the country. But then the IRA was born and, the, you know, the ERISA laws of 1975, that was the Employee Retirement Income Security Act, a law that was meant to protect you from the employer to, to make sure you got your pension but there was an obscure paragraph that gave birth to the IRA in that law. And then later in the 1980s, 401ks became the norm. And instead of being a supplement to the pension, it became your retirement nest egg. Social insecurity, it's going to be broke within literally almost 15 plus years. The tax acts, 22 plus trillion dollars in debt. The health care nightmare. How about red, white, and broke? Because most Americans have just horrendous savings habits. Our generation, ours, that will be, will be the first one that will be worse off than the generation before. And let's talk about that social insecurity. In November of 2018, just four months ago, they issued 62 million checks that month. And right now, for the next decade, Every day, they're adding 10,000 people to their roles every day. 62% of the retirees count on their Social Security check for half the money that they spend and consume on a monthly basis. And this is the scary stat. The Social Security Board has already reported that payments will exceed revenue. In other words, they won't be taking enough in to cover the money going out, and that's only three years from now. Is the current level of the money they're paying out sustainable? And the fear of dying too soon has now been replaced by the fear of living too long. Financial concerns in America. Will I live, long, will I live a long life? Will I get sick along the way or will I die too soon? Most will live into retirement. Longevity is the risk multiplier. And I'm going to give you some quick stats if you want to take some quick notes. <clears throat> if you're alive at age 65, according to the CDC, that's the Centers for Disease Control out of Atlanta, Georgia, you have 19.3 more years left on this planet on average. If you and your spouse are both alive at the age of 65, one of you will probably make it to 92 years of age. And our debt is growing at the tick of $52,000 every second. And it just went over a couple weeks ago, that 22 trillion marker. That's our national debt. So then here's some quick questions. Does it make sense 
to defer a tax bill? Would you knowingly take a waiver, not pay tax on money, and to a later date when you know you're going to have to pay more? I'm just asking. Is it smarter to pay the taxes now when you're trying to save money, or does it make sense to pay the taxes on the harvest on a bigger pile of money? Just asking. What is your future tax rate? Now, you need to ask that question. Do you think it's humanly possible that taxes are going to go up? Or do you think taxes are going to go down in the future? So how much money is a trillion? Now looking at $1 million. That's one large semi with $2 billion on it. We're now looking at $1 trillion. That doesn't scare you. I just don't know what will. But we're going to grab a highlighter, and we're going to talk about the four phases of money. For most of you here that are our guests tonight, you're very familiar with the 401k. The four phases are simple. Contribution, accumulation of money, spending it, and leaving what's left over. Now, whether it's a 401k, a 403b, a thrift savings plan, a tax, you know, you know, a, a deferred compensation plan, a traditional IRA, they all enjoy the ability to contribute money and write it off your tax. It's given a tax deduction. You get to grow the money not paying any taxes. But when you spend it, every dime that you take out, every dime is reported on federal and state tax returns as ordinary income. These are known as internal revenue codes that I'll talk about in a second. And if you pass away with money left in this type of account, I've never met anybody that inherited money, even if it's in a retirement account, that didn't want to spend it. And to spend it, they had to access it. And to access it, it had to go on their state and federal tax returns. What about what we do? what we're introducing you to, this thing called the IUL. Well, first off, there is no tax deduction. You paid the taxes now. You get to grow your money just like 401k, no taxation on the growth. And I wanna, I wanna tell you something. If the IUL is designed right, if I go up to the 401k or the IRA and I have to access it, before 59 and a half years of age, not only do I have to report it as ordinary income and pay taxes, but the federal government wants a penal, want, wants their, they want to penalize us for accessing it. If I design the IUL correctly on the tax code, not only can I access it without having to report it as ordinary income, and by the way, if you're not reporting as ordinary income, it's not on a federal state tax return. And if it's not, ordinary income, 
you're not paying a penalty to access it. For the first time, there is a program that if you do have an emergency or crisis and you have to access the money at 45, 50, 55, you get to access it without taxation and without government penalty. And if you die, regardless if it's one day into the contract or 30 years into the contract, if there's anything left in that contract, it does go income tax free to your heirs. I find that when people understand that power of it, there's nothing that can accumulate it. And it's just understanding the tax codes. 401k is an internal revenue code, which means it's taxable income at retirement. Internal Revenue Code 7702 that was written for life insurance contracts, if it qualifies with their rules, it is not ordinary income and is not reported on a federal or state tax return. Insurance contracts to the advisors, they cost money. Managed retirement accounts cost money. One of the most famous entities that, that advertises every day on television, always screaming that they hate annuities and they hate the insurance industry. And I'm referring to Ken Fisher of Fisher Investments. He doesn't charge 2%, thank God. But if you have a half million dollars of assets, he'll only charge you one and a quarter percent. And he'll charge you even if he has a bad season. Now, he does better as you do better. So if he makes you more money and builds your nest egg bigger, one and a quarter of bigger is pretty amazing. And if you're using an insurance contract, we're going to talk later, but the fees over the course of that contract will be less than 1%. So as I get ready to go in to our next slide. This was done on Bloomberg. It talks about hidden fees. It talks about the nightmare of, what, of the unknown. Well, we're gonna play this for you. Revenue sharing, wrap fees, finder fees, shelf space, surrender charges, soft, soft dollars, 12B1 fees. It's a complicated puzzle. By the U.S. Department of Labor's count, there are at least 17 different fees that can be charged to your plan. Right now, you'd be lucky to find even one of them identified by name on your account statement. What you don't know can hurt you. If you're paying the same amount for your 401k as some of the people in this program, after 40 years of investing, you can say goodbye to half your potential nest egg. Gerald Schneider of Bainbridge Island, Washington, fits the profile of a typical 401k investor. What makes Jerry a lot like the other 50 million 401k investors in America is that he just saw his 401k balance take a serious tumble. From the beginning of January 2008 to the end of March, Jerry lost $44,108. Those were investment losses that Jerry knew about. It's what he didn't know that's got him worried. After his losses, Jerry now has about $390,000 in his 401k. According to an independent audit of his account, Jerry would have tens of thousands more were it not for hidden fees. Matt Hutchison, a nationally recognized retirement plan expert who in 2007 testified to Congress about hidden fees. When we buy bread, we know exactly how much it costs. One dollar by one dollar's worth of bread. However, when it comes to 401k plans, the sticker price is advertised at 50 cents, yet the actual cost may be closer to $3. John Hancock Financial Services charged annual fees amounting to one-tenth of one percent of the assets in his portfolio, or about $404. That's not what Matt Hutchison found. Jerry, it appears that you're paying approximately, uh, based on our, our findings, over 3,000 percent more than what you believed you were paying. And over a substantial period of time, 20 plus years, that has the effect of eroding your account balance and ultimately your benefits by 40 to 60%. So Jerry's fees were really around 3.6%, and that hurt. Instead of paying $404 for his plan in 2007, he really forked over more than $14,500. Over time, fees amounting to just 2%, can devour half your retirement savings. That's according to Bert Malkiel, 
Princeton economics professor, author of the bestseller, A Random Walk Down Wall Street, and a scholar who has spent decades analyzing the impact of fees on investments. Can you imagine somebody saying to you, let me invest your money for you, and when you're ready to retire, I'll take half your money away from you. If somebody ever said that, you'd say, you're crazy. I'm not going to let you do that. Edward Siddell says this problem is epidemic. Siddell used to be an attorney in the SEC's Investment Management Division. In many of the plans that he's audited, he says investors were paying 3 to 5%. There are some 401ks that I call lethal because they will kill you. They will absolutely kill your retirement nest egg. You know, whenever I've seen the Bloomberg special, I've always sat there and I, what can I say? I, for the life of me, over the last decade, as I got educated on that, how could anybody just throw money out the window? And yet, they're not even aware they're spending it. They're not even aware that it's eroding their value. And when you did listen to Professor Malkiel from, from Princeton, at 2%, which is still below the average fees being charged for a managed 401k account, most Americans are absolutely going to give back half of what they saved because the money was eroded. And then they got choices to make, just like the one you're seeing in front of you right now. This is the power of eliminating risk. 95% of the people we talk to every day wake up and they pay attention to things. Last night, for example, when our president bolted from uh, Vietnam last night, all upset, the Asian markets went into the tank. Now, for whatever reason, the American markets didn't totally destroy itself in the, in the last 24 hours. But if they don't cut a deal and trade deals and stuff, every time that they, they whisper the wrong words, our assets disappear. The up and downs of that, you know, of the marketplace. If you had a choice today to be on that red line with your money or that blue line, which would you choose? In the last 20 years in the United States, folks, there have been six years where the market went backwards. And even knowing years like 1999, when the, when the S&P 500 was up 19.53%, or in the year 2000, when they had the infamous, you know, the famous dot-com implosion, you know, the tech bubble, you know, the Nasdaq lost 60, 70 percent, but the S&P only lost 10. Or years like 10 years, you know, 10 years plus ago, back in 2008, the year that Freddie and Fannie had to be taken over by the government, Lehman Brothers went bankrupt. The banks bailed out. A nightmare. The stock market lost 38% that year. There was only six bad years, and the actual rate of return, as we go to this next page, was less than 4%. The actual return for the last 20 years is actually 3.63. And what we show here on that 20 year marker, we, we, we're being gentle. We show 4%. The SP over the last 10 years, because of the good years, averaged 11.35. What if you could have the S&P 500 gains up to 14.5%? In other words, if the market made 10, you made 10. If the market made 17, you made 14.5. But in those six bad years, they gave you a quarter percent and you got no losses. How different would that look? Well, in the last 20 years, that's a return of 7.65%. How many of you are aware of Barclays? It's an old English bank. They, had, they, they bought the assets of Lehman Brothers 11 years ago when they went bankrupt. Barclays created the most amazing indice of our time, the Trailblazer Sector 5. And folks, over the last 10, the last 10 years, that return for our clients was 13 14.49% with no losses. Now, as I go to the next slide, we're going to play another video and we are going to share.
how this Barclays Index works. We do the Barclays Index on straight investments, guaranteed income contracts, and life insurance contracts. And I can tell you, nothing beats this indice. It's impossible. And I'm also pleased to tell you that we have a three-year exclusive contract. Even if you call the trading floor in New York, and we can even give you the number, for them to actually explain the Barclays Index to you, they can't even solicit you as a client. They have to send you back to us. That's the uniqueness of our contract. As you're sitting there looking at this next index slide right here, let's take a look at this. This is a little bit of historic time. I'm gonna grab a uh, highlighter. You can see at 100% participation, 14.5% cap, in 2009, you would have earned 14.5%. In 2010, you would have made 11.49. 2011 was a bad year, and you still made a quarter of a point. 2012, you made 14.5. 2013, 14.5. 2015, 2.7, 2016, 10.7, two years ago, 14 and a half, and then last year when the stock market lost 6.42%, you still made a quarter bit, no loss. If we use the Trailblazer Index, the last 10 years, you can see what you got credited. 5.33, 14.84, 20.57, 18.02. You can see they had a couple of bad years, but you didn't get any losses. A couple of years ago when the S&P delivered 14 and a half, you got 24.6, a 13.49 average, and you have the choice. You can actually split it between the two. We even have a gold index. We have a Dow Jones Commercial Real Estate Index, amongst many other choices. But we get to illustrate that in the insurance industry and it looks forward based on past performance at 7.98%. And again, I find that to be absolutely extraordinary. So let's see how they do it. As you plan for the future, selecting the right investments can make all the difference. You want to see your investments grow in value to meet your future financial needs. But you also want to control the amount of risk you take to limit potential losses. As the financial markets evolve, it is also important to be able to adapt your investments to the changing market conditions on a timely basis. We realize these goals can be difficult to achieve, and that is why Barclays has developed a multi-asset class dynamic index called the Barclays Trailblazer Sectors 5 Index, or Trailblazer. Trailblazer aims to track a diversified portfolio of assets with the highest return potential for a given level of risk. Additionally, Trailblazer is designed to have the ability to change its portfolio as often as daily to adapt to shifting market conditions. How does Trailblazer achieve this? To control risk, the index aims to limit its annual volatility to a 5% target level. To maximize return, Trailblazer uses a set of predefined rules to find an optimal portfolio that is expected to provide the highest return potential, subject to the 5% volatility target. The index is dynamically rebalanced into the new optimal portfolio each time certain trigger conditions are met, as frequently as daily. Like I said, the most amazing industry of our time. So let's talk about the problems and solutions. Again, we're back in that infamous or famous tax code. What is the problem with Section 401k? Taxes. You gotta take. You gotta. You gotta disinherit that uncle. And folks, we're not talking about Uncle Joe that comes over at Thanksgiving daytime and, and he and he falls asleep watching Detroit Lions. We need to show people how to disinherit Uncle Sam. Risk. If there's a way to not lose your money ever again, and, it, and, 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 it, and it's fundamentally sound, it makes sense, why would you ever take risk again? Not only taking risk off the table, but the ability for us to give our clients guaranteed income as long as they breathe. 
And there is only one institution in the world that does guaranteed income contracts. And that's the life insurance industry. And the fees, well, they range from one and a quarter percent to as much as 3%. And if we use an index universal life contract, the cost of that life insurance of the course of that contract will be as low as 0.76% of your total assets. And on annuity contracts, which are guaranteed income, we have contracts today that have no fees to as much as 1% in fees. There's only one thing that can make you stumble and tumble and not make it to retirement, and that's you. It's your health. In the United States, the average age of death last year was literally 74 years of age for a male. It was over 80 years of age for a female. You heard me talk about the CDC statistics that if you made it to age 65, you heard all of that. The problem isn't 65, 70, or 75 years of age. It's in our youth, our 30s, our 40s, our 50s. When, we, when, we, when you come into a one-on-one, -on -one, we get into the nitty-gritty of these statistics. Sadly, 7 out of 10 people under the age 65 that are stricken by heart attack, stroke, or cancer survive. They don't die. They actually survive the incident. And Harvard Law, the institution in Boston that, that makes attorneys, they're educated on, on, on classes to specialize in bankruptcy and bankruptcy law. And the number one cause of bankruptcy in the United States, including last year, two-thirds of the bankruptcies were caused by Americans having medical incapacitation. And why did they go bankrupt? Don't blame health insurance, according to Harvard Law. 78% had adequate coverage. Blame one thing. Your income stopped. And if your income stopped in your household, how long would you be in trouble? One of the things I love doing, even if a client's with us 30 days, 60 days, or a client's with us two or three years or five years, we know the statistics. The average length of time to someone getting sick after becoming a client in our contracts for the first company that offered this new type of life insurance was just eight years. And most people think life insurance should be 50000 or 100000 or a quarter million. And I beg to differ. There should be enough life insurance on the books that if you got sick tomorrow at 43 years of age or 47 or 52, and not only do you have your out-of-pocket costs for your insurance, but at least one year's income put into your bank account, giving you the time to not sit there and have an anxiety attack about money. And if we designed it right because of our great guaranteed income contracts, and if we had enough life insurance on the books with you, can you imagine suffering the horrible disease of cancer or a heart attack? And by time that you're at home trying to figure how you're going to deal and fight through that horrible illness, that we had enough life insurance face amount paid up front to get a guaranteed income contract that guaranteed your income for you and your spouse for as long as you breathed. I think that's amazing considering many people survived the incident. There are only three claims on a life insurance death benefit. You've either died or told you're going to die, or in our case, told that you're sick. Now in the United Kingdom, this product was introduced 24 years ago, and I am proud to say in that first three years, they spent over 45 billion out of pocket to buy that new stuff. It was introduced in America 21 years ago. And the majority of the insurance companies selling insurance in the United States looked at this product and they just don't want to go back to their old customers. And they don't want to have to pay these kind of claims. And I understand that. Most of them 
have the mentality of the Wall Street boardroom. It's the same reason they don't embrace all the market gains without the risk because they can't charge the monsters and monsters of fees ongoing. They get sick when we take money out of those mutual funds and take money out of, out of the, all those Wall Street managed accounts. I get it. They don't like it. But you see this gentleman right there? He, he saw in 2015 the most amazing asset-based insurance contract that we were marketing, this IUL thing. He had no idea that it was a new type of life insurance. Now this contract had a $900,000 death benefit. And 30 days after he bought that program, he, he put 50,000 into the contract day one. He was diagnosed with cancer. And folks, within six weeks of filing a claim, we gave him up front 735,000 of that 900,000 up front. He became our biggest cheerleader. There are so many stories inside our agency. And I gotta tell you, every one of them, I am just so proud that we were able to work with people and get them. We had one person that bought a policy 10 years ago in the month of December. It was a 30 year term, just a term, but it was the right kind of term. And we, we got him a check in December 2018 for eight hundred and forty four thousand dollars and today we can take these lump sums and turn those lump sums into consistent guaranteed income not only as long as they are breathing and fighting their battle but more importantly if they do succumb to their illness or injury they're not here but we have secured that income for that family for as long as the spouse lives that work is just way too important to kind of share a little bit of that this is a, uh, one of our clients. His name is Chris. And I am going to play this video for you. And, I, and if you don't get teary-eyed like I do when I watch this, then I, maybe, you just, who knows, maybe just not, not you know, you're immune to sadness. But I want you to watch this. Accelerated benefit riders is a big deal to me. Unfortunately, most of us are going to get sick before we pass away. So if we get sick and we can be with our family and go through things that we otherwise wouldn't have had a chance to do, because financial issues are not an issue anymore, that, that, that's the whole key. So John and I go back a long way. We were friends from church. I'd had some life insurance policies with him, and we discussed this new product that came out, quality of life insurance. My first thought was, you know, I'm healthy. I don't need this. I've never been sick. I've never really been in the hospital. We discussed, you know, what the coverage is. And I signed up for the, for the uh, quality of life. I started having a lot of shoulder pain and um, thought that it was just maybe an injury from playing sports. The diagnosis came from multiple myeloma, bone marrow cancer. And we started chemo. In September of 2013, got out, finished the chemo in January, and that's where my doctor started talking about the need for a bone marrow transplant. Leading into the transplant, I had uh, lots of bills coming in, as you can imagine. So I was just kind of overwhelmed at that point. Uh, John was one of the friends that I called just to tell him what my situation was. He reminded me of the uh, accelerated benefit rider on my quality of life policy that I had. So I immediately called AIG. Um, I must say they were very professional. And the claims department was all over this. The claims department said that you qualified for uh, $627,000 and some change. And I was floored. If this is really real, you know, life changer. It was a unbelievable stress relief that you can't even explain. Benefit Rider helped tremendously more than I can even ever say. With the benefit of the money that I got, I decided that I would go try to find a place on the lake and found a little place on the lake and bought it. 
they don't pay cash for it. No mortgage, which is a very big stress relief. My son was interested in buying a house, and the benefits of the money that I received, I was able to help him in a down payment situation where he could get a very low payment, and he's very thankful and blessed for that situation. My daughter, actually, September 8th, my birthday, got engaged, and I knew that prior to this, I didn't have the money to for the wedding, and this provided me the opportunity to give her the wedding of her dreams. The other great thing that I was able to keep it to walk her down the aisle. Just having a chance to help me get a chat to, to go through all that. That's what AIG is about. Be able to, like, while you're still here, is a blessing that cannot be matched by anything. And like I said, every time I see stories like that that are, there's so many testimonials from the stuff that we've done on YouTube, some have produced by the insurance companies, some just done by the clients after they, they've gotten this tremendous surge of money into their households. And it, that really is physically just a, just for lack of a better word. So let's talk about the smartphone, this IUL, and give you an example. This is just an example of a 35-year-old putting away $100 a week, $400 a month, and contributing in this money, this $4,800 a year, he's going to put in 163000 out of pocket into this contract. Let's take a look at some key benefits for this young man, gentleman. If he dies tonight, that's $404,711. And if he got sick, even 30 days from today, living benefits up to 372000 He's got an income at age 70, a, a, a projected based on the past performance, based upon that Barclays index, $59,000 for putting away 400 bucks a month. By the age of 89, he has taken distributions in a, 20, in a 19 year time frame of 1,181,000 out of the contract after putting in 163000 And if he was to pass away at the age of 89, there was still a life insurance death benefit left of 115824 What about the people that have money already tucked away? They've got, they got to retirement. They've got their 100000 400000 500000 What are their choices? We help them roll that money over. For some of them, we will actually show them how to move that money, roll it over, help them pay the tax owed on that money. Now listen very carefully to what I'm saying, folks. The tax on that money could be 150, 200,000. And in our case design, not only are we going to be able to show them a bigger, better income at retirement. But in my case design, we are going to recover every penny that we advise them to pay in taxes. <clears throat> they will recover all of their taxes. Traditional planning, they have fees. In the new paradigm, our fees will be from zero to 1%. In traditional planning, there's no guaranteed income. That money is at risk. If they bring that money here, even if we have to start the income immediately, they will see day one guaranteed income for the rest of their life. You have a chance right now to guarantee your retirement, a chance to eliminate the risk and fees and still have the competitive returns I can't tell you, I was living in the Bay Area of San Jose a decade ago when the markets crashed. If I would have had products like this today with no cap, no spread, 
all the market gains, I could have moved millions and millions immediately because they could have recovered it. They wanted to stay in that stock market because they got slammed, lost their money, and, didn't, and they, they looked at the products that we had 10 or 11 years ago, and they didn't have the choices that we have today. Today, you have the same potential for the same return here without the exposure to, to the, the huge nightmare of risk. And we will lower your fees. And if we do design it to have you pay your taxes, we will make sure you get every stinking dime back. Some reading that might help you. There are three books in front of you. David McKnight wrote the book called The Power of Zero, teaching you how to get to a 0% tax bracket and save your retirement. Probably one of the best books ever on IUL was written by an actor named Martin H. Ruby, the middle book, The New Rules of Retirement Savings. And Patrick Kelly, he wrote the best book I ever said explaining indexing. He called it the retirement miracle. So we want you to take the next step. And I want you to know something. I want you to write down these keywords right here, folks. It's like going and making reservations for a restaurant. ReserveMyMentor.com. That's reserve mymentor.com. We want you and the person that brought you to come to one of our mentors. We have some of the best money managers in the digital world. We're not going to come to your kitchen table. We're not going to have you come to the office. But what we're going to physically do is we're going to set up an appointment. And we're going to do a very thorough educational job on that first appointment. We're actually going to teach you how all these miracles took place. We're going to teach you how indexing works. We're going to teach you so much that you're never, ever, ever going to go back to the old way of doing business. We're going to make a promise to you. On that first appointment, there will be no attempt whatsoever to sell you. Our objective is to teach, work with the person that you work with that brought you here to our table, and on the second appointment, we're going to want to know what you have. And, of course, anybody can show the warm fuzzies, you know, how great the income looks and all these good things. But we're going to do something that no other financial advisor is doing in America. We are going to go to the back of these contracts where the charges are. We're not going to just point at a fee. We, we are together going to add up every charge, and we're going to prove something to you that you've never learned before, that the charges for an insurance contract or a guaranteed income contract are always less than what a money manager charges you. And we'll do that comparison. And we will disclose our income, what we will make managing your account versus the people that you work with today. And you will find out that we are more than reasonable. In fact, many, many, many percentages way below what you're already paying. We are going to put you in that better position. We are going to turn your retirement to a win. We're also looking for something tonight. And maybe you're sitting here as a guest, but we are looking for quality associates to join our crusade to find people that are in harm's way with the wrong life insurance, in harm's way with their money in 401ks and, 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 and horrific asset positions. I don't think that anybody can visualize how easy it is to enter the financial services industry. But if you could make an extra four to $8,000 a month, how much would that income enhancement to your life improve your retirement? So we're urging you to take the next step. Go to, go to reservemymentor.com. Book an appointment with one of our mentors. I want to thank you for your time. And there really is a better way to retire with dignity. Again, thank you. My name is Dave Weiner. I am a field.
CEO with FEG Insurance Services. Have a great blessed night, folks.